Hey guys, what the heck is going on? I hope every single one of you has had a really great day and if not, don't worry, the day isn't over yet. And if it still doesn't get better by tonight, then well, there's always tomorrow. So, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be doing a little sit down kind of video with you guys talking about my biggest insecurity. So I'm kind of just going to jump right into it just because I really don't know how to start with this kind of topic. <laughs> So first things first, I've always wanted to share this kind of video with you guys since I started my channel but I held back just because I didn't want to just throw this personal video out there when you guys didn't really even know who I was so I kind of waited a little bit and started up my channel and now that it's started, we're a few years in, videos in. I said why not? We are getting to know me a little bit as each video goes by so perfect timing right? So yes, insecurity. Everybody just loves that word. It's a pretty sucky word and there's nothing more to it than that. Also by the way I am currently in my sister's room. I don't know I just felt like filming in my sister's room so that's what's happening. Sorry Debbie. But anyways let's get into this video so my biggest insecurity <laughs> where to begin i don't really have a lot of insecurities it's just one one that i have struggled so hard with and um am currently to this day still trying to gain the confidence to just bring it out there and just live on and just go out and show it off yeah it's still pretty difficult but your girl is trying so i don't know why i do that with my hands anyway so before i reveal to you guys what my biggest insecurity is let me just talk about it a little bit my biggest insecurity is a birthmark yeah I said that. So it's a birthmark and it is my biggest insecurity because it's not just a little birthmark. It's not it's not like it's in a random shape or anything. It's just this birthmark is unique. I say it's unique because nobody else in my family has a birthmark like mine. My parents don't have this kind of birthmark. My grandparents don't have this kind of birthmark. So it's kind of just kind of just happened when I was born um, and I've had it ever since obviously hence the word birthmark. It's a birthmark that kind of looks very spread out. I know I'm probably not making any sense. You guys are like, what the hell is she talking about? Like, just show us. I will, but let me gain that confidence. <laughs> so anyway, this birthmark, like I said, is very unique. I don't know how I could have possibly gotten this birthmark, but whatever. The reason why I've been so insecure with this birthmark is because it's just the fact that nobody else has this kind of birthmark. And out of my entire family, I'm the only one that has it and I don't know why. It's very random and just unusual, I guess, to me. And because it looks so unique, it made me feel very weird to know that nobody else had this kind of birthmark in my family and it just really made me feel so like embarrassed so because i was so embarrassed of this birthmark it stopped me from wearing tank tops from wearing strapless shirts from wearing you know anything that was going to expose it because i was so scared of what people were going to think if they saw this birthmark on me because the birthmark that i have is right here and i'll show you guys in a second but it takes up this whole area of my arm and what got me most about it was the fact that i was actually bullied because of this birthmark and not to put much out there because i really don't want to expose anything of what happened or who the person was but just know that the person who bullied me was my own family not my immediate family it was a cousin of mine and that's all i'm gonna say about it i'm not gonna go into detail with who it was or you know anything like that just because i'd want to keep that personal to myself basically this cousin called me a name that pretty much got me just because as it is i was already like very insecure about this and i was barely like opening up to showing this around my family because i didn't even want anyone else in my family to look at it to be honest i was just that embarrassed by it i was that insecure for that reason that people would say something people would you know just bad mouth so i avoided that i'd always wear t-shirts and over my t-shirts i would wear like cardigans or something to cover my arms for that reason so obviously that didn't end up helping because i was bullied by my own family and um, long story short he called me a name and i took it to heart obviously because 
you know, it's what I'm freaking insecure about, obviously, and I didn't expect that from my own cousin, you know, so obviously I was hurt by it. I told my mom, my mom told their mom, and obviously he apologized, which is cool, but it still stays in here. So after that incident happened, it made me even more insecure and more embarrassed by it. And by then I was literally wearing cardigans like every day. I had this black cardigan I would take to school and I stopped showing my arms in school to prevent something like that again. I did not want to expose this birthmark anymore after that. So that being said, I guess I will reveal to you guys my birthmark. But before that, I'm going to go change into a spaghetti strap to kind of give you guys a better view of how exactly it looks like. So give me a second. Okay, so I'm back, and I obviously have a tank top on, like I just said a second ago. So, this birthmark is pretty long, like, lengthwise, I guess you could say. Um, like I said, it takes up this whole, like, back part of my arm, like, shoulder area, I guess you could say. I don't know. But pretty much, it starts off here. I don't know if you guys can see, but all of these little, like, freckle-looking things, that is the birthmark. And then it goes down to my armpit, but I'm not going to show you guys my armpit because I don't really want to. So, it actually, all of this is the birthmark, and then it even goes lower and takes up so much space. It's ridiculous, but yeah, so that's pretty much what it is. And it goes lower than that, but I'm not going to reveal all of that for you. So, yeah guys, so that was my insecurity. You guys just saw it. It's this weird-ass birthmark and it like spreads god knows how far and I really don't know why but that's what it is and you guys are probably like it's not even bad or it doesn't even look that bad like you're making it sound worse than it is but it's just different to me and again nobody in my family has this kind of birthmark it's not genetic I don't think like it just randomly popped up like it's just a random birthmark that I have I will say that I have gotten a few compliments on this birthmark like people have said that it's really pretty actually Actually, because it's so unique and it's different and all this stuff and I really really appreciate that because I think that that kind of helps me like boost my confidence with it a little bit more I mean obviously I shouldn't go by you know comments to help improve that but it does help to hear that and know that people actually think it's pretty and stuff like it it, it it helps me boost that confidence a little bit I wear tops that expose my birthmark a little more and I've just over the years of growing up and all that I've just been working on gaining the confidence to just be okay with this birthmark and know that there is absolutely nothing wrong with having this kind of birthmark and believe me the comments that I get about it like compliment wise make my confidence feel so much better it really helps but at the end of the day it all starts with myself and I know that and I'm working on that like I know I just said that I'm gaining more confidence with it but I still do have my moments where I will look at it and I'll think to myself like why do I have this birthmark why is it so different like why couldn't it just be a decent you know simple birthmark but can't answer that question so might as well you know accept it long story short I am learning to embrace this birthmark that I have I'm learning to accept it because at the end of the day this is me this is who I am this is a part of me so why should I hate something that is me you know what I'm saying like I just feel like there's no need to hate this birthmark anymore there's no need to feel embarrassed by it or insecure because it's just it's it's me <laughs> I can't stress that enough. It's just me. So I really, really just want to get this message across that you guys shouldn't have to be insecure with your physical appearance. Like if your lips are uneven, if your nose is weird looking, like if it's your eyes, I don't know. It doesn't really matter what it is. Like learn to embrace it because at the end of the day, it's just part of you as a person and it doesn't define who you are because what matters is what's on the inside, is how your heart is. Other than that, your physical appearance shouldn't matter and I really cannot stress this enough because it's just I feel like this world that we live in today like really sucks when it comes to that because people have so many things to say about others they always want to nitpick little things out of people they always want to compare one another to somebody else like it's ugh, it's not okay I cannot stress how much I hate that because how does that define who we actually are as a person why does that have to be I don't understand why people do it like 
it's just it's not okay because they don't know that person's story you know like again coming back to me like for me to be bullied about this birthmark like that person didn't know how I was feeling about that birthmark they didn't know how insecure I was about it and they pointed it out like it was a joke and people don't realize like you don't know what goes to that person's mind about their insecurity like do not make comments like that because it mm. You don't know how bad it affects the person who is living through that, you know? Nobody wants to be pointed out about their physical appearance, especially their insecurities. Like, nobody wants that, so why do it? It... I don't know. It really, really irritates me that people are so cruel to just comment about everything about somebody, about nitpicking little things and just... Ugh, I don't know. My point is to each and every single one of you, learn to love your insecurities, learn to embrace it rather than cry about it, rather than feel like you're different from everybody else. Like this is you, you're unique in your own way. Just learn to love yourself because the second that you start commenting negatively about yourself, about your appearance, like that self-hate increases and increases and that's when the depression starts and all these thoughts start going through your head and it just messes you up so just learn to just accept it because at the end of the day it's you and you are beautiful regardless so that's just the message that I want to give out to you guys and that is why I wanted to share this video with you guys to kind of sort of show you guys that you know we all have insecurities and we're all fighting through it every single day at the end of the day I just want you guys to know that I am right in this journey with you guys of trying to accept who you are as a person and learning to accept your physical appearance and just learn to love yourself like like I pretty much always say when it comes to videos like this you guys are not alone I'm going through it too everybody is going through something and we all just need to be here for one another because we don't know anybody's story we don't know what goes through somebody's head on the daily so just be nice to everybody just just be nice why is it so hard to be nice I, I don't understand I really hope you guys get something off of this video I really hope you guys get the message that I'm trying to put out there I kind of suck at like explaining you know what I'm thinking and what I'm trying to get across like but I really try my best um, I think with that we're gonna end the video right here so thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you all enjoyed it I really hope you guys get what I'm trying to say. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications to know when I post. And don't forget to follow me on my social media to keep up with my not-so-entertaining life and with my channel's life. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!